guys welcome back to another video and as you can see the past notes have dropped for the symbiote invasion uh meet the symbiotes that have become even stronger and gore who in another time wielded the first symbiote sword check out the symbiote invasion number two inspired update so we're getting gore as a native tier three and we're getting toxin who's going to uh, be a transcendent character will be uh added also and uh, if you still have your six star selector that you got from a check in, I would keep that just in case Toxin is a free to play character that we can get a free six star Toxin. All right, let's get back into this. The existing symbiotes will be upgraded as well. Tier 4 Venom and potential transcendent for Scream and Agent Venom will uh, be added. In addition, five new artifacts and three new uniforms have been prepared to support the growth of updated heroes. Also, an important point of the update, the Alliance Battle Legend difficulty and the set dealer feature have been added. So we're getting a new uh, ABX. Now we're getting ABL, uh, Alliance Battle Legend. All right. Two new heroes in which God the Gore Butcher is a super villain. So anyway, here we go. Gore, he's universal, super villain, alien male, even though everybody wanted him to be combat. But he's an alien, so that's fine. All right, he has his ability is healing, pure evil, and fast movement, and his instinct is destructive. So how to get Gore? You got to beat Gore ten times in World Boss uh, Legend to unlock his uh, bios. So do not do your World Bosses for today. Wait till the reset and you download the uh update or whatever then do your five world bosses and then for the daily reset do your other five world bosses that way you can unlock gore in one day so but if you don't do uh, gore one time a day that's fine ain't no rush in it but let's get back into this all right whisper of darkness is leadership okay applies the villains 35 percent increase of hp uh, applies the villain re, uh, remove all debuffs for 20 seconds well 12 seconds on a 20 second cooldown so that's not that's not bad all right the guard anger uh you got a uh, super armor all defense skill damage bonus damage and he recovers his hp below 99 percent and he has a five percent heal on a one second cooldown okay so he's kind of invincible all right Okay, Godless Prayer uh, increases uh, Pierce. He has a 5% Pierce built in his kit. Decreased damage receives. And he revives for 80% of uh, max HP on a 300 second cooldown. So he has a revive too. Okay, Necro Breaker, Bleed, Stun, Paralysis, Penetration on a 6 second cooldown. Uh, Merciless, Salvation, Incapacitation. All right, eight second cooldown, shadow shock, stun, silence, uh, decrease all defense, all defense down, fourteen seconds. Okay, God's in, burn, paralysis. So you can use them in ABX. Uh, accumulates ten percent of pure damage when maxed. Okay. Uh, he has a frenzy buff on this also. Well, increases all basic attack. Uh, 1.2% up here. Okay, so he has accumulation. All right, he has accumulation on that fourth skill. And the fifth skill, uh, decise, uh, stun, incapacitation, invincible. Okay, he has a frenzy buff on this one, a 40-40. All right, so, so, looks more like a rage character to me. Spell it for ABX. All right, that's fine. Okay. Now... Toxin. He's a combat superhero, human male. Okay. He's a 20 ball measure daily character. So, but there's a thing. September update future pass season normal. So you can get him for free in the future pass. So that that's great. So do your future passes and you can get a free toxin. So 
Make sure you do your your uh season pass. All right. Let's see. Red threat leader applies to all allies. He has okay thirty percent physical attack, so he can be in a leadership role. Uh, limitless potential. Let's see. He has increased all basic attack by twenty percent. Max sixty percent for twelve seconds on a one second cooldown. All right. Anger manifest. He has skill damage, bonus damage, decreased damage. Uh, okay, he can. Uh, his HP uh, bumps uh, when it's below 9%. He has a 5% heal on a 1 second cooldown. Okay, Symbiote Hammer. He has Stun. Second skill, Maddening Roar. He has Bleed and Silence. Uh, third skill, Thorn Discharge. He has Bleed. 30% max HP. Uh, 100% immunity. Accumulation. Alright, on a 15 second cooldown. All right, uh, four skill predator crunch. All right, it's a uh, eye frame ignore. He has incapacitation, paralysis, and penetra uh, penetration for seventeen seconds, and wing of resurrection on the fifth, paralysis and invincible. Okay, all right, not not too shabby. All right, three new uniforms. That's going to be a 40% uh, discount on these. So as you can see, Venom is going to be 1050. All right. His new uniform effect is uh, crit damage increase by 30% with a 30% heal on a one second. Cooldown for 20 seconds on a cooldown. All right. Uh, Enigma Force. He's getting uh, another 15% chain hit. So a CTP energy is going to look pretty nice on him. Uh, guaranteed crit rate, super armor, all defense. All right. His passive, ignore, dodge rate by 45%, skill damage, bonus damage, decreased damage. All right. First skill, stun. Second skill, uh, just a little attack. Okay. Third skill, fracture paralysis, and a frenzy buff with immunity on the 14 second cooldown. So you can keep that up all the time. Uh, light of salvation, silence, and a uh, attack buff for one second on the five second cooldown. All right, and then the king's call. He has snare, all defense down, thirty percent heal on. Okay, he has two uh thirty percent heal. Nice, and he has another uh attack buff. All right. Okay, Agent Venom is going to be another 1050 uniform. His uniform is going to be all allies, well, all symbiote allies. Okay, another chain hit damage 30%, or decreased uh, chain hit damage by 35%, and increased chain hit by 20%. All right. Could have been better. But anyway, uh, his passive, super armor, all defense down. Uh, when HP is below 99%, he has a 5% heal. On one second cooldown. And then... He has another one. That applies to itself 50% of max HP on 150 second cooldown. Okay. What we'll to say about that one. It's passive with crit damage. Uh, crit rate. Increased damage dealt to supervillains by 50%. Okay. All right, his first skill is bleed, second skill, stun, third skill, burn. Okay, with the uh, 100% grant uh, damage immunity. All right, and he does a f additional 40% fire damage. Okay, on the burn. Okay, just want to make sure. Four skill, he has eye frame ignore, all defense down, 33% penetration. And a uh, attack buff. All right. Then his fifth skill, paralysis, and accumulation. Okay. Let's see burn, paralysis, stun. Yeah, he could be good for leadership and maybe ABX, maybe. All right, scream, aka silence, is another ten fifty uniform. 
Her uniform effect is 35% increased physical attack with a 10% chain hit damage, and that's for herself. All right, synthetic fusion, that's her passive. She gets a 15% heal. All right. Uh, Inscapable Hunter, her tier 2 passive is a crit damage increase by 40, crit damage rate, skill damage, bonus damage. Alright, first skill she has bleed, and decreases the recovery rate by 50%. Okay, and that applies to enemies, nice. Okay, second skill she has bleed, and stun, third skill, bleed. Stun, paralysis, accumulation. Okay. And attack buff. 0.8%. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, Four skill silence. A frenzy buff. And immunity to damage. And attack buff. Okay. Uh, fifth skill, paralysis. All defense down and invincible. So... Maybe a rage would look pretty nice on her. Now, Venom, no, on the other hand, looks more like an energy. But let's see about that. All right. Now, Gore the God Butcher. His th uh, tier three skill is Shadow of Despair. It gives all bleed, stun, silence, paralysis, and a 80% uh, penetration with uh, an attack buff. All right, we're going to check the skill out. He can summon you in darkness as the silence. He comes in with the big slash. Wow. Okay. All right, so Scream, Agent Venom, and Tyson getting their awakening. And yeah, you can see that uh, Scream has snare, crit damage, crit rate, ignore dodge, penetration, invincible. Moves our deep buffs. He's just the same. Typical awakening skill. Alright. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, she screamed. Wow, they all three have like big charging heads at you. Okay, that's pretty dope. Check Age of Venom out. They just entangle you in their symbiotes. Oh, he draws bombs on you. Okay. Check out Toxin. Oh, nice. Okay. Venom's tier 4, King's Charge. All right. He gives a 15% heal and a 100% uh, increase to all attack. And recharges tier 3 skill gauge by 10%. Wow, so he's going to get his tier 3 a lot quicker if he use this. Hmm. Alright. I may end up tier 4 Venom instead of Storm. Alright. I'm going to check this out later. Alright, squad battle end and alliance battle legend mode release. The squad battle will end and the alliance battle legend mode has been added. Challenge searcher who has become even stronger through battles. Number one, squad battle will end after the September update related changes and rewards are. Oh, no, they're getting rid of squad battle. Okay. Okay, we're going to see how this is going to work. All right, changes with squad battle changes and rewards. <laughs> squad battle participation challenges will be changed to alliance battle participation challenges. Awakening Crystal Mountain Lady Gem Fragments that could be acquired from Squad Battle could not be acquired from Alliance Battle. Alright, Squad Battle Season Reward. The League and Rank Reward for the following season will be distributed through the inbox. Agents who have participated in Squad Battle at least once during the following period. Sunday through until the update. Okay, agents who have not received the season rewards for the following season before the uh, September update maintenance. Okay, the Alliance Battle Legend Mode has been released. The Legend Mode will be unlocked when reaching a certain score in Extreme Mode or Extreme Challenge Mode. Unlock requirements, one, one million points in Extreme. All right. 
achieve higher scores in the Legend Mode by challenging the following battle features. Odin's Might, a shining purple circle, will appear on the map. When a text showing that Odin's Might has been used is displayed, a bonus to increase points by a percentage will be applied when your hero acquires the circle. Okay, alright. Odin's Force, a bonus to increase points by percent increases greatly when four Odin's Might are required and the gauge reaches 100%. The, ga the gaze decreases as time passes, so make your attack when the bonus is applied. Recommended skills and icon will be displayed on skill with recommended effect during the battle. Alright, 3. 60,000 gold will, is needed to proceed with Legend Challenge Mode. 200 crystals are needed to continue Legend Mode when all heroes have been defeated. I doubt that. The Legend Mode scores will also be counted to the Alliance Battle Weekly Ranking Reward. A relay challenge for participating in Alliance Battle Legend Mode has been added. Alright, Weekly Rewards. Rank 1. 350 Mandalay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, even if you're... Between the 51 and 100 percent, you get 75,000 gold, 130 Mandalays, and they need to get rid of them level up chips. I'm sorry, but anyway, uh, normal mode you got level five XP chips, Mandalay fragments, and awakening crystals have been added as rewards, and the amount of some rewards have been increased. Extreme mode awakening and Mandalays have been added. All right. So, the normal, 100,000 gold, normal stones, ball measures, gold, debris, level up chips, gold, clear tickets, 80,000 gold, 25 awakening crystals, 20 mandalays. Oh, man. All right, extreme mode, same, but you get 25 awakening crystals, 20 mandalays. Man, they could have made this a whole lot better. Oh, man, they really screwed this up. I'm sorry. All right, legendary mode. You get 75 celestial essence, 25 awakening crystals, 20 mandalays. Oh, all right, you get all together, you get 225 celestial essence. Whoa, hold up. A five to six star comic card and a one premium card included. All right. And you get a one to four star artifact for two. Wow. And if you get six million, you get an Odin Blessing or the five to six star uh, Uru. Okay. Oh. Uh, Agents can set a dealer for my team or at a team select screen before entering the game mode. All right. Target content, story mode, ultimate mode, dimension mission, dispatch timeline, epic quest, dimension riffing event. Okay. Mm. The following will apply when auto progressing story ultimate with the auto use designation characters featured. Designated hero will fill empty slots first. If there are no empty slots, slots that are not dealer slots will be filled first. Okay. The new artifacts, gores, increases basic damage dealt to superheroes by 20%. Increases basic damage to super villain by 20%. Nice. Okay, toxins ignore dodge by 20%. And increases basic attack by 20. Okay, venoms. Increases basic attack by 20. Increases HP by 25. So he's getting a lot of healing. Okay, agent venom. Apply the symbiotes. Increases damage dealt to villains with 25%. Uh, HP or higher, but 25% HP or higher by 
and decreased down by 30. He looks more like ABX to me, so we'll see. Uh, screen, aka silence, 80% chance to increase crit damage and crit rate. Or well, critical on critical attacks, okay. Yeah. Alright, the future pass. Like I said. Alright. So the normal mode, if you don't buy it, you get ten free uh toxin bios with three hundred premium tokens. So make sure you do your free, uh future passes. That way you can get the free tokens so you can get your uh common cards if you already have three hundred. Alright. And there's a new icon, Black Bolt, Agent Venom, Throwing the Grenades, and uh, Venom. All right, that's pretty pretty sweet. Uniform Collection, Gold. All right. Other improvements. No, they're just little skill previews. All right. The Dimension Rift Banner and a Notice Mark will now be displayed at the bottom right corner. Okay, that's when the rewards can be uh, received. Agents will now be moved to the main screen and automatically rematch when being disconnected from the multiverse invasion. Ultimate skills cannot be canceled when giant boss raid or mama world boss gore starts a specific pattern. The hero information tool tip has been improved. Oh, okay. Alright. The tier 3 skill effect of Venom has been improved to be continued when using another skill during the skill usage. CTPs will no longer be consumed as a material when enhancing or changing the option of custom gear. The notice pop-up screen that appears when using CTPs as a material when reforging or changing the option of CTPs have been improved. Alright, game fixes, the skill cooldowns not been decreased, have been fixed, so everybody can start complaining about that. The issues of CTP options, auto change not being stopped on the mighty, okay. That's only if you're reforging. The occasional issues of choir and score, text not being displayed properly in game mode has been fixed. The issue of the Alliance Battle Season information not being updated when remaining on the main screen at the point of the weekly reset has been fixed. The biometric auto select feature can be used normally when increasing the level of heroes. The issue of skipping the pattern of World Boss and uh, Infinity Ultron through certain methods have been fixed. Ah, uh, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, the issue of gold not being consumed when using the auto dismantle feature has been fixed. Alright, let me just... Other than that though, the patch notes look pretty good in these uniforms. Well, like I said, you get a free toxin, so you don't have to spend $10. Just do your future pass to get a free toxin. So, and if you got the uh, level up, well, the uh, rank up chips and all that stuff. To level up your character to six stars, then definitely use it. That way, you ain't gotta spend ten dollars to get them. So yeah, there's the past notes. Hit me down in the comment box down below. Let me know what y'all guys think of the past notes and what you think about gore. And make sure you smash that like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.